Welcome to the world of Taste Try Travel. Ocean K is MSC's private island and it boasts a spectacular one and a half miles of shoreline and a Caribbean paradise. This is your ultimate guide to its eight pristine beaches. We are starting at the very tip of the island at Ocean House Beach, which is the Yacht Club Beach. So, all of you that are enjoying the Yacht Club on your ship, and you will enjoy the Yacht Club, this is your private restaurant, your private beach, your private butlers are gonna be on there handing out towels, handing out water to make your stay as wonderful as they can. We are at Bimini Beach. This is one of the locals' favorites. The waves are just perfect. It's a nice slope down. It's all sandy, so you don't actually even need water shoes. We do recommend trying to grab the transportation because it is a little bit of a walk, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, so right across from Bimini Beach, just over the road slash walkway, is North Beach. Which is the north side of the lagoon. Now at the lagoon, you used to be able to see some wildlife, but they have recently roped off the entrance to the lagoon, so there's gonna be nothing out here. The lagoon is your safe spot. And they have nice little swim. What yeah. are those things? The little uh, platforms. platforms. The little, they have a couple, little, yeah. The floaties out there. Also, I wanted to mention that as of this taping, $19 for umbrella rentals. And you can find any lounger you want. They put up the base of the umbrella and then you can lug your umbrella to wherever you want to. You just have to carry your 20 pound umbrella with you. <laughs> But there are the bases to stick your umbrella right. in that are weighted and your umbrella will not blow away. Yep. All right, this is a PSA for anyone visiting Ocean K. There's metal, there's, oh my God. They're not metal. They're concrete paths all around. And those are technically for all the carts. So just try to walk towards the side. They were originally metal. That's what Beth was correct. They were originally metal. But really? they realized that the screams of pain as people were walking <laughs> by the beach didn't add to the vibe of, of laying out on the beach. So they changed it to concrete. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> so right at the tip of South Beach, just... So right at the tip in between South Beach and North Beach is the farthest stop for the transportation. So if you wanna to go to North Beach, get off here, cross the bridge, you're right there. All right, just as we cross the bridge back into the main part of the island is gonna be South Beach. This is the most popular beach. 
Of course, this is the other side of the lagoon. A lot of families are here because the water is perfect for the kids to play in. Okay, one thing I really appreciate about Ocean K is they have music playing all over the island, but it's kind of like nice music, not loud party music. They'll do that if they have a certain party down. What's that other beach called, Lighthouse? They might have a party a little bit more, but throughout the island, there's just nice beach music. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but after that comment, I'm going to write a sternly worded letter to Taste Try Travel, let them know they don't appreciate Dissing, Dissing the party rock. music. <laughs> right. I love party music. So just on the other side of where the islanders live on the island, just off the ship, there's a small inlet. Has beaches, but it's never been opened. Has no name, by the way. Beach has no name. The first beach that you're going to see when you pull in on your MSC ship, look over the starboard side and you're gonna see Lighthouse Beach, by far the most popular beach on this island, probably because it's the easiest to get to. You're just boom, boom, you're, you're in the water right away. Now, I was told that Lighthouse Beach was named Lighthouse Beach because there was an old house on this beach when they bought the island and it was painted really dark. So what? the new owners bought it and painted it a light color. So when they started to design everything, they were like, we want to honor that light colored house with the beach. <laughs> so they named it you Lighthouse Beach. You are so beach. wrong. You are so wrong. What is the real story? So there's, a, there's a freaking lighthouse behind you. Well, that could be it too. That could be it. That probably could be it. That could be it. <laughs> Another thing that makes this beach really popular are all these fun chairs and umbrellas, fire pits, bean bags. That's right. They have the nighttime party when they have a nighttime party on there. Mm -hmm. Not every cruise gets a nighttime party when they have the nighttime party, it'll be on this beach. Exactly. And they will have fire pits. So grab those chairs, start breaking them down like Lord of the Flies, throwing them onto the fire, war paint, and go huh. take that cafeteria. <laughs> right out here, you can see there is a fence. So this is a very animal life free swimming area. Not a sharky beach. Not a sharky beach. Non-sharky. We should have done that with every beach. A sharky or non-sharky? Is it sharky? Is it non-sharky? Okay, Chris, yeah. I wanted to show you something. Yes. You see what is right there? Uh, it's a tall structure with a light on the top. Right, that's the lighthouse. That is what the lighthouse beach is named after. Some people might call it a lighthouse. Well, what happened to your house? They, it's preserved in the MSC Museum. Is it really the MSC Museum? Yes. In Italy somewhere? Uh -huh. They took it. Where nah. you can see light colored paint flaking off to reveal the dark colored paint below it. <laughs> We're gonna go with the real story of that is the lighthouse and the lighthouse beach. It is about 65 degrees. That's a little warmer now, I think. Shut up. They don't know. 
It's 65 degrees. The wind is blowing and it's beautiful for this tour of beaches. I think it's about 67, really. Okay. All right, let's keep going. On to the next. We just sat down and like, before we even took any video. We're like, wait a second, we didn't videotape any of Our that. Our whole job is to video what we do and we're like, nope, we're eating. So I'm gonna send Chris back up to get something else so we can pre pretend we filmed the whole thing. Well, what'd you get for lunch? I am so hungry. We just, they just opened the, the buffet. <laughs> so I ran up there to get, to be the first one in the buffet to get something. <laughs> So this is new, right? This little quick Yes, that was pickup. the grab and go. I just yeah. went up there. Yeah, you don't have to wait in line if the line's really big. It's not really big right now, so it right. probably doesn't matter which side you go to. But I really but like But if it that. is really big, yeah, yeah, you can just head to the side, run up there, hot dogs, I think hamburgers, and french fries. And that's it. Right so there. you just grab boom, it and boom, go. Boom. I got a hot dog, and it, it got like a grill. Au where right here oh you dip that in yeah you just dip it in there mm. it's, kind of, it's, a, it's a pan sauce for anyone interested these are no plastic wear is allowed on the island but these are not plastic nice hundred percent compostable so cashew was a little salty but you know, it hits the spot. Oh. Row, row, row your boat gently around the cay. Da, 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 da. Life is okay. So right as you pass the lighthouse, which is to my right, these are some of the original rocks at the very beginning of creation of this island. And this is the must spot. You've got to go here to get your Instagram pics. Just past Instagram point is Sunset Beach. There's no net. Nope. There's no nothing. Get out there and swim with those with the little, your little friends in the ocean. <laughs> but they don't care that you're there. No. They don't care at all. No. Nope. Ocean K is a nature preserve. Go out there and enjoy nature. Yeah, for sure. So this beach does not have a posted lifeguard. There is some rocky points to enter, but further down here, it gets a little softer, but this is the best beach to snorkel, to right. see fish, to see wildlife. The side of Sunset Beach that's closest to the lighthouse. Yeah. Lots of wildlife. There were lobsters out right, here right. last time we were here. Is my finger helping? Point directions. These trees have grown so much since we first came here. The farthest end of Ocean K is your last little nook of a beach, Paradise Sands. It is a getaway from a getaway. Exactly. <laughs> 
It's beautiful out here. It's up here so far, hardly anybody comes up here. Yeah. It's a little open beach. And it's got all the stuff that the rest of the beaches have, except for probably there's no bar or food right. out this way. You're gonna have to walk back down to Sunset or uh, the Buffet Pavilion for right. that. Do you have my friend in the background? Yep. He's joining me as we close this video. We hope you guys had fun kind of exploring the different beaches that are here on Ocean K. Please comment, let us know which one is your favorite. Make sure you're subscribed. We have a lot more in this MSC Magnifica series. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently around Ocean K. Merrily, 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 merrily. This is a film by Michael Bay.